Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play Siamese style yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. This is the two-player, two-handed game designed by Gladys Grad of Mahjong Madness. It's a lot of fun and I challenge you to learn it if you haven't learned it yet. In this exercise, I'm going to test myself because I want to practice playing in a tournament. And in a tournament, you're on a timer. You got to make quick decisions. And when you get all those tiles at the very beginning, it takes a while to figure out what you're going to do. So I do Siamese sprints. I have my smartphone out with a timer on it. And all my tiles have been mixed. So I'm going to take 28 random tiles. That's how many you get if you're the dealer. All right, we're gonna do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. Here we go. My goal is to be under two minutes for my decision making. Under two minutes. Let's see if I can do it. I've struggled these last couple times. I think between being clumsy with the tiles and just being indecisive, it's not gone well for me lately. See how clumsy I am at the moment? You've need, you need to be... Um, Manipulating these tiles with dexterity. That's part of the challenge. Okay. Dragons. Look at that. Dragons. Then we have one, nine, one, three, five, seven. Okay, so I'm thinking we could play a year hand, maybe. Oh my goodness, let's see here. Look at the 135 there. Let's do this. One three five seven. One three five. I don't think we can use those. One three five. What's the one three five with dragons? One three three five. One three three five with dragons. One, three, three, five with dragons. And then up here, we could do something here with the seven. Nope, two. Nope, that doesn't work. Let's see, I'm thinking the 2017. Oh my goodness. Sevens. Sevens, no. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's pretty bad. Let's see, seven, eight, nine, Kongs. Look at all those dragons though. One, okay, what about one, here we go. Like numbers with ones. And then up here, The year two zero one seven. Okay. At least fourteen discards. There's Joker bait. This is really terrible. Lap. Okay, I went way over. This was very difficult. Let's see. Wow, if you would do something different here, <laughs> let me know. This was very difficult, I think. Year and like, num or like numbers, Joker bait, all discards. I think I would hold these, maybe play one, three, five, if this didn't come in. Okay, wow, that was really hard. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, 28 random tiles. Let's see what we can do. I need to make up 
precious time. Here we go. News. One, three, three. Okay, what about if we did, okay. East and west with flowers or dragons. Maybe news, I don't know yet. Oh, and then up here, one, three, three, five. One, three, three, five. And then here we could do news with twos or fours. Okay, lap. So one, three, three, five. That would be the second one down under odds. One, three, three, five, or one, three, one, three, five. This could be a one bam. One, three, one, three, five, or one, three, three, five. Either way. Okay, then here, news with twos, or news with fours, or east and west with twos, and east and west with fours, one or the other. Right now we have seven discards with joker bait and options. So technically we have more than seven discards. So there's work to do here and choices to be made. But there's a little bit of joker bait there. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. Okay, we got one more sprint. Okay, here we go, last one. This red dragon I don't think is gonna do any good. We have news and we have, we don't, I'm trying to see if we have numbers in all three suits. We have all the ones. Maybe we could do news with ones and then leverage these fives and the fours. Look, there's a six, two, four, five, six with fives in the middle. Four, five, six with fives in the middle. Okay, that's what I would do. Slap. Okay. News with ones, then four, five, six with fives in the middle. We have a gap. We have no five crack, but we do have these jokers. We could use these jokers right here. Four, five, six with fives in the middle. As an option, I think I would keep the six crack and do four, five, four, five, six, and hold those that for joker bait as an option. So that leaves eight discards. That would be a good result right there. There'd be drawing to do up here for sure. And then down here, four, five, four, five, six, or four, five, six with fives in the middle if we get that five crack. Let's see how things went with the timer. When you play in a tournament, you're on a clock. So this really is good practice for quick decision making so that you can get your games in with as little stress as possible. Because tournaments can be a little stressful especially if you're sensitive like me. I'm very sensitive. So if I can practice in advance, it takes the pressure off. Give it a try yourself and let me know if it helps you.
Let's see how my time was. Okay, the first sprint was 2 minutes 47 seconds. That's terrible. Well, for an advanced player, it's terrible. If you're a beginner or an intermediate player and you got that time, that would be good. But if, you're, if you consider yourself to be advanced, I think under two minutes is good. Okay, so sprint two, one minute, 49 seconds. Sprint three, one minute, 33 seconds. I need to use a calculator to add these up because I'm tired and my brain is not functioning. So let's see. Two, four, seven. One, four, nine. One, three, three. 5.29 is that how that works I don't remember let's do this another way we'll we'll rob from Peter to pay Paul and figure it out so 1.49 let's see here the first one was 47 seconds over so really sprint one and sprint two cancel each other out well, no, that's not true. I think I'm going to have to use the calculator on the computer to figure this out. Let's see, 2 minutes 47 seconds. So that's 13 seconds short. 13 seconds. I'm sorry, let's see. 47 seconds over. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm going to have to use the calculator on the computer. I'll write it in the on the screen what my ending time was because I can't figure it out. <laughs> oh, don't judge me. I have terrible math skills. All right. Anyway, the point is this is really great exercise if you can really make decisions quick. And this is great practice for that. Give it a try if you haven't tried it yet and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. After you click subscribe, click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any strategy and insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.